LabVolt tutorial demonstrating the Thyristor three-phase AC power control. When LVDAC is fully open, left-click on the Thyristor control application here to open it. Then, under function selection, select the function you want from the list by clicking on it. Now let's take a look at the settings of this function. Load configuration. This setting allows you to choose between four different configurations. Three wires star, three wires delta, four wires star, and finally six wires delta. Control mode. This setting allows you to command the thyristors in two different ways. Phase control and burst fire control for load configuration 4S and 6D, and only in phase control for 3S and 3D. Firing angle control. Knob, analog input 1 or its complement. Firing angle shows you the current firing angle of the thyristors. This setting is replaced by the period in cycle and the on time also in cycle when the control mode is switched to burst fire. Acceleration and deceleration time for smoother command variation. Q1 to Q6, the thyristors used in this function. Each one can be put active for direct control by the function or on or off for troubleshooting. Status indicates if the function is started or not. Here's the knob to control the firing angle, and finally, the start-stop button to control the function. As always, here's the electrical diagram of the function with the specific load configuration selected. Note that when you change the load configuration, a new diagram appears and the image in the Show Connection button here also changes to always help you during your hardware connection process. The Thyristor 3-phase AC power control is a huge function. With four load configurations, these circuits can represent various systems such as soft starters for motors, thyristor-controlled reactors, also known as TCRs, used in static VAR compensation systems, three-phase powered heating systems, and more. In this demonstration, I'll show you the 3S and 6D load configurations only that respectively represent a soft starter and a TCR system. Let's start with the 3S load configuration. What you see here in yellow is the line voltage between lines 1 and 2, and in blue the voltage at the load T1. Finally, the purple curve is the signal sent to Q1. As you see, if I increase the firing angle, the output voltage decreases. Imagine now that the load is an induction motor. If I first set the firing angle to 180 degrees, then start the application, nothing will happen. But if I slowly decrease the firing angle, the motor will slowly start turning because of the increasing output voltage. Using the acceleration time here, I can put 10 seconds between 0 volts to maximum voltage, and the function will automatically adjust the firing angle over time to create a 10 seconds soft starter. As you see, it works perfectly. Now, I stop the application, then choose 6D in the load configuration setting. A different electrical diagram appears, showing me the new circuit that I need to connect. When everything is correctly connected, I restart the application. This time, the yellow curve is the input voltage between lines 1 and 2. The blue curve is the load voltage between T2 and T3, and the purple curve is the signal sent to Q1. This circuit is a typical thyristor-controlled reactor found in static VAR compensation systems. Depending on the power factor or the line voltage of the network, you can adjust the firing angle, which causes the load, a reactance, to have a different value. In fact, you can easily absorb more or less reactive power from the network without using a synchronous compensator. Try this load configuration on burst fire control and also try the 3D and 4S configurations 
to see their differences and particulars. Many laboratories and tests can be achieved with this function. Try them all. That's it for the Thyristor 3-phase AC power control.